Today I wanted to talk to you about something that I've not talked about before on my channel. Actually, it's something I didn't know existed. We've all heard about tick-borne illnesses like Lyme disease, that Rocky Mountain Spotted Fever. But have you ever heard of ehrlichiosis? I haven't either, until I was just diagnosed with it a few days ago. On this channel, I usually do fun, light-hearted kind of videos on playing with my Chinese machines out here in the woods, out in the trees. But today I want to talk to you about something really serious. And I think by making this video, I might be able to help some of you just in case you run into something like this. Or this might help prevent something happening to you like what just happened to me. So I wanted to talk about tick-borne illnesses. I was just diagnosed with one. I apparently got a tick bite and it transferred some nasty stuff into my bloodstream. And it got me really sick. And I've been sick for the last four and a half weeks. So I want to share with you my story. What's happened to me what I did wrong to get this, how I can help you not get it and keep you safe and keep you healthy, at least to the best of my ability from a YouTube video. Because if you watch this channel, most likely you have a lifestyle that involves going out into the trees and out into the forest like I do. You might have some little machines, you might have a piece of property and you might have ticks that you encounter occasionally or on a regular basis like I do and so I wanted to make this video to try to help as many of you as I can to avoid catching a tick-borne illness like I just did. I have a story I feel I need to share with you all. This is not my normal type of content but it's something that I need to I feel I need to get out there and have more of you become aware because I wasn't. And I'm learning the hard way. So, I've been pretty sick recently for the last few weeks. Actually, I'm going on four and a half weeks of being sick. And I didn't know why. Not sure what was wrong. I've been to the doctor multiple times, being tested, trying to find out what was wrong. Some personal detail. I felt really sick. I've had a fever, uh, night sweats. Waking up, my bed just soaked with sweat. Got to change. Uh, I've got to dry off with a towel. I'm, and then an hour later, I'll wake up and I'm freezing cold. And I go in the bathroom, turn on a space heater, try to keep warm. I've had horrible, horrible headaches. Usually at the end of the day, in the afternoon and into the evening. And that's usually when I film my YouTube videos. But I just haven't felt motivated. Uh, I've just been so tired. Uh, my whole body just kind of aches. My head hurts so bad. I haven't, I haven't really done anything. So I went to the doctor. They gave me a flu test. They gave me a COVID test. It's negative. They gave me some antibiotics. Gave me a steroid dose pack. I finished those. And they said, if after three days you don't feel better, come back and see us. Well, stubborn me, I didn't. I waited another 10 days. So I had a weird rash break out on my arms. And you can see it's healing now. All the sores are, are clearing up, but uh, my arms broke out with some crazy red rash all over and they got scabby and yeah, I'm still not quite right. And I was at work, so I was sitting at my desk and my heart was racing and I checked on my Apple watch and it said 124 beats per minute. That's just sitting. I'm like, something's wrong. Like, there's something wrong with me. 124 beats a minute. My normal resting heart rate is like 80 or 90. So I went and told some of my team that I'm going to go to the doctor. I don't understand what's wrong. These headaches, all this. And one of, my, one of my guys said, hey, I used to work with someone that, that sounds really similar to what they had. They ended up being hospitalized. They had a tick bite and they got sick. I'm like, oh, crap. Okay, going to the doctor, gonna ask for some blood work. So that's what I did. I went to the doctor. So they do an EKG, everything looks good with my heart. They do a blood test and it comes back and everything looks normal. And then the next day they come back with another part of the blood test they send to me 
and they say that two things in my blood didn't look right and it points to I have an infection. Don't know what, but my white blood cell count was off and it shows that my body's fighting an infection. I'm like, okay, I wonder what's going on. They did an EKG, my heart seemed good. Uh, they did blood work, it came back positive. Another, I think the next day I get another blood test back and it shows that there's there's a couple things in my blood that weren't right and they point to there's an infection, that my body's fighting an infection, something to do with white blood cells and all. I'm like, oh, well, that's not good. What is it? They don't have any idea. So uh, they tell me go get a prime, uh, an, they tell me go get an appointment with my primary care physician. And so I schedule that. Uh, you know, they didn't say I need to go to the ER. You know, it's not too serious, right? Like, a, not that big a deal. So I have my appointment set. It's actually next Tuesday. And I get a phone call on Friday from the doctor. And I said, hey, we just got uh, your final tick panel back. I'm like, oh, I didn't know there was a final one. And they said that you tested positive for ehrlichiosis. Like ehrlichiosis, what is that? That's the weird name. I've never heard of that before. And he said, "Yeah, it's a uh, it's a it's an illness that comes from getting a tick bite, and you need to be on antibiotics." So the second round of antibiotics that they gave me is a different kind of antibiotic. And that one, uh, they said they need to extend it 14 days, so they're going to put in a prescription. I just need to take that twice a day for 14 days, and it should clear up, and I should be good. So I jump off the rabbit hole of researching what is ehrlichiosis. I mean, I've heard of Lyme disease. I've heard of that Rocky Mountain spot and fever. I've never heard of ehrlichiosis. So in my research, what I've learned is there's maybe 1,500, 2,000 cases a year in the states that are diagnosed with ehrlichiosis. And I'm one of them this year. Yay! So I've had a variety of tick bites. I haven't been using my bug spray like I should have been. I know I'm going through tick infested woods. No big deal. I'll just make sure I don't get them off. But I've missed a few and I pick them off, whatever. Tweezers get the head. And I uh, never thought I'd catch a disease from it. But I did. And it's whooping my butt. <laughs> so some facts about ehrlichiosis. Like I said, about 2,000 people a year get it. 60% of those people get hospitalized. 1%, it's fatal. Seriously. So if you catch it early, you can get on antibiotics, get it knocked out, and you'll be good. So I guess I caught it early. They say early is within five days. I got mine uh, about three, four weeks in. And uh, yeah, I spent uh, about a month being being sick. My weekends, miserable. Uh, every day at work, I just feel horrible. I went home from work, honestly, a few times early just to go to bed because I felt so horrible. And uh, yeah, here we are. So some of the symptoms, <clears throat> severe headache, feeling of, of just being really tired, fatigue, uh, upset stomach, nausea, diarrhea, uh, in rare instances, rashes can come out. It's like one out of every three people with it get a rash. I'm one of the lucky runs. I got a rash. So, I just, so I'm going to read to you what ehrlichiosis really is. <laughs> ehrlichiosis is a tick-borne disease in the southern United States. Infections are reported most commonly during the summer months, May through September, which is the time of year when adult and the little baby ticks are most likely to bite humans. The best way to prevent it is personal protection. That is, don't go in tick-infested areas. Do wear your bug spray. <clears throat> it's usually carried by the Lone Star Tick. Symptoms of ehrlichiosis are often flu-like and typically begin within one to two weeks after a bite by an infected tick. They're usually painless, so many people do not remember even getting bitten. More than half of those who get ehrlichiosis require hospitalization, and 11% develop life-threatening complications. Seriously. 
Early signs and symptoms, like the first five days of illness, are usually mild to moderate, may include fever, chills, severe headache, muscle aches, nausea, vomiting, diarrhea, loss of appetite, confusion, rash, and fatigue. I can confirm these are symptoms. Signs and symptoms of severe or late stage illness are altered mental state, damage to brain or nervous system, associated with inflammation of the brain and surrounding tissue, shortness of breath, a rash, uncontrolled bleeding, organ failure, and death. 1% fatality rate in adults for children under five years old, it's 4%. Adults over 70, fatality rate is 3%. This usually affects little kids and people over 60 years of age. It's more common 50 and up, but 60 to 69 is the largest group of people that get this. And over 70 is the largest age range for people that, that have a fatal reaction to it. So that is not good. Uh, this is a map right here on the screen of where these cases have been reported between January 2018 and January 2023. Look at how many of these are reported in the middle of the country there. Now, I live in Oklahoma. There's been 134 cases between January 2018 and January 2023. 134. That's it. How did I get this? Stupid. All in, in that time frame, there were 7,760 cases. So this isn't very common. It is pretty rare, but it does happen. So I just, I just want to share with you some of the realities of what life is like out here in the trees. It's not all fun and games. So I just thought I'd share my story to let you know where your insect repellent. Spray yourself down. Cover yourself in it. If you're going to go out into the tick, tick infested areas like a lot of us do, you know, with these Chinese machines, these mini skids, excavators, all these, we're out in the woods, you know, we're doing stuff in the trees, we're doing stuff in the yard. So all of us, just about, we're all encountering ticks in the spring, summer, and sometimes into the fall months. Put your bug spray on. You're not being a salvy by doing that. It's pretty darn smart. I mean, I feel terrible. <laughs> I'm... I am not feeling well at all, and I'm going into four and a half weeks of not feeling well. Why? Uh, probably because I wasn't wearing bug spray every day, and I should have been. You know, I, I think I've had three ticks under my belt line. I've had one under under my cheek, <laughs> and that one really swole up and was pretty nasty after I got it off. Uh, one in my inner thigh. I've had one on my back. Uh, one under this arm. I had a tick bite in this armpit. Like I've had them all over this year. Ah, oh, it makes me itchy thinking about it. I hate ticks. And now I really hate them. But anyway, just a little story. Uh, do some research. Look up uh, some data on ehrlichiosis because it's a real thing. You know, Lyme disease, real thing. All these, all these tick diseases, they're bad. Like they're bad. Not good. And if you get them, I mean, like it's kind of killing my summer. My July pretty much killed. I don't know if you guys probably don't know this, but uh, I'm not uploading a ton of content recently. I just haven't been feeling well. Some of the stuff I've created recently, I've finally edited, were videos that I shot weeks ago. Um, I just uploaded one yesterday on just trying to work on this tree. I was planning on cutting it down that day, but I just didn't feel well. And I just cleared the driveway path. And honestly, I, I went inside and I lay down for a little while. So I felt like coming up and moving the machines, which was actually the next day for filming purposes. I did the first part and the one day, and then the next day I did the rest. And it took me a week to edit it. I just go home every day after work and I just go to sleep. I'm just, I'm just tired. So take it from me, like I said, put your bug spray on. Try to stay out of tick infested areas. I know we can't all do that. We've got projects, maybe, maybe you work out in the woods, you work out in the trees. Maybe some of you guys already know all this and you do it. So good on you, you should have told me, <laughs> I should have listened. But anyway, uh, thanks for sticking around, thanks for watching. Um, that's all I got for you today. I just wanted to give you a little heads up that that there are some crazy diseases you can catch out there from creepy crawlies in the woods. And uh, I hope I don't have any more of these traumatic for me videos to make for you guys on um, 
me getting sick from creepy crawlies. So have yourself a great day. Try to enjoy your time in the trees. I know I always do. Besides that, have a good day.